Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces and all the members of your government who have joined us here today, the Chief of the Defense Forces of our country in Kenya and all those who help you in the military command, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, Your Eminence, the Cardinal, John Jue, Your Excellency, the Apostolic Nuncio, Hubertus Van Megan, Your Grace, Archbishop Philip, Archbishop Philip Agnolo, Archbishop of Nairobi, Your Lordships, Reverend Fathers, religious men and women, a dear, faithful and a special way, all the members of the military ordinariate of Kenya. God is good and all the time. First of all, I bring you greetings from UK. For status, UK means United Kisumu. I'm very happy to be here today, and indeed the entire Conference of Catholic Bishops is happy to be here today. And these celebrations of today are both historic and revelatory. Historic because since Kenya gained independence, this is only the third Catholic Bishop in the military. The first having been the servant of God, Morris Michael Cardinal Otunga. Right from 1964, up to the time he retired in 1996, close to 33 years. And there after him came his lordship, Alfred Rotich, who served with commitment and dedication up to again when he retired in 2000. 16. We thank God for their service, for our brothers and sisters in the military for all those years. It is historic because today we get the third bishop of the military in the person of his lordship, the right Reverend Wallace Nganga. You are most welcome to this service of the people of God in the military, our dear brother Wallace. That is the historical part. But it is at the same time revelatory because what we are doing today may pass just for another event, another occasion, but the event and the occasion of today, the ceremonies and celebrations touch at the core, the deepest core of the very constitution of the human person. What is the human person made of is created, she is created in the image and likeness of God. This is the foundation of everything we are doing here today. That the human person having been created in the image and likeness of God has been given a very special constitution that is body and soul. To speak of the human person is to speak of one who has a body and an intelligent soul. And these two constantly remind us of where we are coming from, where we are, and where we are going. And in this, we reflect the image of God in us. This is the deepest and most intimate foundation of why we are celebrating here today. That all human beings, in whatever profession, in whatever career, in whatever part of the world you find yourself, you have a constant reminder that deep inside yourself 
we are a composition of body and soul reflecting the image of God and the same applies to our brothers and our sisters in service in the military and that is the role of the military ordinariate to render spiritual and pastoral service to our brothers and sisters who are created in the image and likeness of God looking after their brothers and sisters created in the image and likeness of God. As the psalmist says, unless the Lord watches over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. We can also say, unless the Lord watches over a country, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. Unless the Lord watches over Kenya, in vain do we keep vigil. What does it mean? It means, actually, our brothers and our sisters in the military are continuing the work of God because God is the one who takes and looks after the human person in a special way. And if he doesn't look after us, you can put around us as many watchmen, as many guards as possible, but everything will be in vain if the Lord does not watch over us. Our brothers and our sisters in the military are doing something divine, looking after their brothers and their sisters on behalf of God. Because unless the Lord watches over a city, over a country, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. We want to thank very much our brothers and our sisters in the Kenya Defense Forces for the work you do for our country. We want to thank you because of the sacrifices you make, the sacrifices of being with your families, constantly like the rest of us, because of love of country. But you love your country because behind it, God loves your country. He loves our country. Unless the Lord watches over a city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. And constantly, with this in mind, you go ahead, you defend our borders. You ensure that we are safe. And on our part, we render the service that we can give pastoral and spiritual care constantly accompanying you to be aware of the image of God in which you are created and the image of God in which the people you look after are created. May the Lord continue to bless the military ordinariate. As we pray for Bishop Wallace Nganga takes over his responsibility today having been appointed on the 15th of August this year May the good Lord bless him. May the good Lord bless the military ordinariate. And may the good Lord bless our country, Kenya. Now, Bishop Wallace, I have some few documents here for you that even as you serve us from the military, when you say, when they tell you right turn, yes, right turn, left turn, they tell you mark time you mark time but also remember the statutes of the kenya conference of catholic bishops which i'm going to hand over to you today and then also to make sure that you come for the next meeting for the first time <laughs> for the first time as the bishop of the military to ensure that you don't fail to come i am putting your fare here so <laughs> Please come and take your fare to make sure you come and represent the military in the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops.
Thank you very much. And those few remarks, now allow me, I would like to invite His Excellency the Nuncio to make a few remarks. Your Excellency, welcome.